So let's talk about compliance. This really uh, lays its hands on payroll more than anything else. Yeah. Yeah. So um, in terms of year end compliance updates from Sage, you know, in years past, we've had what they call IRDs, which are year end program changes to accommodate 1099 changes or W-2 changes, that kind of thing. There is no year end IRD, which is good news. Um, so there's nothing Potentially, there's nothing that's going to need to be done in terms of an installation for a year and a um, couple exceptions to that. Um, if you're using Atrix for W-2 reporting for payroll or um, 1099 reporting through accounts payable, um, then there are some minimum version requirements you need to be on in order for Atrix to function. Um, so if you're on, I mean, you can kind of just read down through this slide, but if you're on 2021, 2022, 2023, you're good. Um, we're gonna have a, a year-end Atrix update that'll automatically install as part of the process. Um, and you'll be able to print your W-2 and 1099 forms um, through Atrix. If you're on Sage 2020 um, up through product update six, there is going to be a hot fix in order to use Atrix reporting. So in that case, I mean, you're you're, you're on an older version. You're technically um, technically that 2022 version is is no longer supported, um, even though Sage still issued this year and fix, but it's technically no longer supported by Sage. Um, so we would need to install a, a hot fix um, to use the, the Atrix reporting. So check on that if you're doing if you use 1099s or or W2s we should be fine. All of our customers that use payroll I don't believe we've got anybody on 2020, but if you 1099s we're not as clear on because we have a lot of customers that do 1099s we're not involved in that. You'll want to see um if you're on 2020, we might need a hot fix. If you're on a version prior to that, we're going to have to figure something else out. The only other comment there um is there's there is going to be a payroll 2024 at some point. I don't think we've seen that yet. So it's a new version of payroll. Uh, that's not required to, to get through the 2023 year end. It's just going to be available. And so no requirement to install that in, in, in preparation of the year end, but there is going to be a new, uh, a new version of payroll 2024. 